Gems, I'm Angel Cooper, and I'm your new entertainment anchor for Thursdays. We have a lot of entertainment news to talk about, so let's get started. Chadwick Boseman died last Friday from a colon cancer at the age of 43. While people are still mourning from his death, Boseman South Carolina High School has revealed plans to honor him with the scholarship fund in his name. Principal Walter Mayfield at TL Hannah High School confirmed on Wednesday that is in the process of setting up a grant called the Chadwick Bozeman Memorial Scholarship, which will be awarded to one student. If you didn't know, Mulan, a Disney classic, is coming to life and is planning to be released tomorrow, September 4th on Disney+. Plus. If you and your friends are looking for new movies to watch, Mulan could be an option for you and your friends. I don't know about you, but I've been waiting for this movie to come out since Disney announced it. So, I know what I'm doing this weekend. Speaking of pl weekend plans and movies, the Holiday Inn drive-in could be something fun for you to try. If you like watching movies and you're bummed out that the movie theaters are not open, maybe a drive-in might be good for you and your friends. This drive-in is providing entertainment when you can't find it other places. We also have comedians coming. We have old movies as well as the newest blockbusters that are finally getting released. So it's just a safe environment to come, enjoy yourselves, relax. You don't have to dress up, but you can if you want. And it's just a great place to come and have fun. Drive-in theaters naturally offer for people to be secluded from others, but they are taking more precautions to ensure everyone's safety during the pandemic. The main thing that we find very important is just keeping everyone spaced out. So half capacity only. So on side one, you can, you, you can normally fit 500 cars. Right now, it's only half of that. So there's a car space in between everybody. So we wanna keep everyone in their circle. So if you come with your family, stay with your family and like keep that spaced out. We also have regular bathroom checks because there, there is a lot of traffic to the bathroom. So that's something very important. The drive-in provides food that you can purchase with your ticket. Everything's online. So you have to buy your tickets online. You have to order your food online. So we're trying to cut down on the cash handling. To go to the patio to pick up your food and pick up your snow cones. So that is the other thing. We do ask that you wear a mask whenever you're out of your car, away from it, walking around. You can personalize your time at this theater for as long as they are open. We're planning on staying open right now until the end of October. Whether or not we push that out further uh, is kind of weather dependent, but we have a lot of good shows lined up in, this, in these next couple months. I'm so glad that Fort Collins has a drive-in. Now I don't have to spend all my weekends watching Netflix in bed. The 2020 food truck Grab and Go started in June and will continue to go through October. Every Monday through Thursday from 5 to 8 in the evening. There's plenty of parking for people to stop by and pick up their food to go. They're waiting for approval to see when they can actually do the rally due to COVID-19. But you can find more information about the food truck Grab and Go on their website, www.focofoodtruckrally.com. Right now, first responders are more important than ever, especially with all that they had to do during this pandemic. A way to show your support and salute first responders is to get out and run. Yeah, you heard that right. The 42 10K is an annual race that happens in Fort Collins, but due to COVID-19, this year's race will be a little different. The event organizers are hosting a virtual event that encourage people to run, jog or walk from a location that they're in between Friday and Sunday. You can register online for free on their website, www.fortitudeboldboulder.com. Well, Ram, that's all the, all the, that's all the uh, entertainment news that I got for you this week. But watch out, because temperatures could be dropping next week. Yonave Moraine will bring you the latest weather forecast after the break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 